Hi fellow crafters, I'm super excited today because I got some new supplies and I immediately went ahead and used them and I wanted to share my card with you. I got stamps and dies from Paper Tree Inc! And you know how I got them? The wonderful Karen Davis, uh, also known as Glitter Me Silly, is selling pre-loved or used paper tray ink supplies on her blog and I immediately went ahead and purchased some and I had to use this set first, it's just gorgeous. I'm starting out by grabbing the dies that match the flowers and you saw me make sure that I really grab the matching dies uh, and die cut the flowers from um, Nina Solo White cardstock and now I'm stamping out the flowers onto the pre-cut um, under the pre-cut, well, die cuts. And I have to apologize for the color in this video. For some reason, my color balance was off when I uh, grabbed the camera and I forgot to readjust it, so sorry. Um, for the center of the flower, I'm using silver pigment ink from Daily Kata. It's the, one, it's the one metallic pigment ink that I can absolutely recommend. It's gorgeous. And the only thing you have to be careful with pigment inks when you stamp them because they are very wet and you might slide, so I had to be very careful here. For the leaves, I'm using the Avery L Celery and Lemon Grass, and you can see that I've already put down a mask for the biggest leaf. And the reason why I'm using two colors is I want to give some more dimension to the leaves, so I'm inking them up with both colors, the lighter green and the darker green. You can also see on that mask that I've left a little border around the stamped image. And I didn't know how this would turn out, I just thought that maybe it would look neat to have a border around the stamped image. So I, I took a risk here uh, because I didn't know how this would turn out, but when you see it later, I hope you'll agree with me that it's awesome. So I, uh, I masked off the upper leaf there as well because I wanted to stamp the little one once more to make this a little bit fuller. And now watch when I peel this off. So this was pretty awesome. And I was like, ah, the big reveal. And then I remembered I hadn't even stamped the big leaf yet. Don't ask me why I forgot to do this. So I'm doing this now, and you can see both how neat it looks to have the white border and how nice of a gradient I was able to get with by inking up the stamp with two pigment inks. And pigment inks are pretty easy to um, to blend on the stamp. You just have to go back and forth a little bit, and then it's then it's done. And I really really like the effect I get with the white border. It just looks kind of elegant. I don't know. I I really like it. You'll probably see me use this more often. Now I have used some foam tape, thicker foam tape on the big flower and thinner foam tape or um, foam dots on the smaller flower to give some dimension to this card, but not too much. And just making sure to get this somewhat in the center. And now with a drop of glossy accents, uh, accent, I'm adhering a pearl, a purple, purple pearl. Whoa, that's hard to say. A purple pearl in the center of this flower. And I'm using a sentiment by the Alleyway stamps and I'm using also a post-it note to um, protect parts of the stamp because I want to ink it up selectively. Now of course I want to ink up the opposite sides so I'm now holding the post-it note in place because if I put it down I will take off the ink from the previously inked part. So I'm trying to somehow ink up the opposite parts uh, without getting any ink on the middle part. But actually it went rather well and now I'm making really sure to press down well to get a good impression. After all the work I put into those leaves, I really want to make sure I'm not messing it up with the sentiment. Because that just recently happened to me and you will see a video of that also. So here you are, this is Memento Tuxedo Black and to clean the stamp off, because I have to stamp it again and I don't want to risk like seeing any more of this black. I'm scrubbing it here. This area is moistened with the Hero Arts cleaner fluid that I sprayed onto it and I'm scrubbing it off here and usually I wipe off the stamp or stamp it off to the side because it has some black residue on there always but once you wipe it off once more it's absolutely clean and you will not contaminate your other colors. It took me a little while to line this up correctly but I think the result is absolutely worth the extra work. While the pigment ink was still wet, I grabbed my super fine clear embossing powder and um, just sprinkled this onto the wet um, purple pigment ink. And then I watched the magic of heat embossing happening. I didn't heat emboss for a while, so I was like, I was almost giddy watching it turn. Then I decided that the card looked still kind of empty. You know, I'm trying to do clean and empty, like clean and, and not clean and empty, duh. Uh, clean and simple styles, but then I'm like, ah, oh, there's so much white space and ah, oh, I can't do this. 
So I'm just grabbing the, um, the three little dots that come with the stamp set using the same pigment inks that I used for the flowers and the leaves and randomly sprinkling the dots onto the card just to give it some additional interest. I don't know, I could, just couldn't leave it empty. I probably should have, but I could, just couldn't. So that's the card. The clean and simple card with some additional sprinkles um, using the paper tray ink dies and um, and stamps. I'm absolutely impressed with their quality and the, uh, the alloy based stamp sentiment down here. So I absolutely love this set. I'm so happy I purchased it. I hope you've enjoyed the card. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment or subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!